My name is Kelly O'Connor, and this is my work titled Multifaceted Woman, and it was completed in 2020. Based on our, our knowledge of Kelly's previous work, we were familiar with her use of characters from movies, from Disney, uh, her interest in childhood, interested in nostalgia, her interest in critiques of some of, some of our American history and popular culture. We uh, offered her the opportunity to present something on the ATT lobby wall, and she had ideas about taking things that she had been working with over the years and then making that into a sort of a monumental kind of statement. So I have some favorite parts of the piece. I really like how these sort of arched areas down here are working like almost like a catacomb-like feel. And so that it really gave me a nice opportunity to create these sort of little rooms, you know, with this like whirling teacup family spinning out of control and then this like larger than life almost hermaphrodite like composition of the mad hatter with these awesome gucci heels and then over here this is the little girl carol ann from poltergeist which was like a super popular movie in my household growing up which was this girl worshiping the tv and the image and so i've extracted her with um an exacto knife. Kelly's work um, comes out of a long tradition of collage in the 20th century, and uh, the McNay is fortunate to have one of Picasso's earliest collages in our collection. And it's just really uh, something that the McNay has been very interested in, the idea of collage. And so it kind of brings us full circle to see an artist like Kelly, a younger artist who's um, still using the techniques of collage, but using them in a very original and interpretive way. So everything in here is handcrafted. I, I appropriate images from popular media and memorabilia, um, and I my main tool is the X-Acto knife. So I go through hundreds of blades, cutting out these figures and different products from old magazines. And then I also use a lot of like scrapbooking like paper, so like glitter paper and cardstock. And then another material that people are often like, that's kind of odd, is I use record covers. I like to have the record covers because they're a nice rigid material, but there's like an infinite number of colors. You know, with digital media these days, you really are limited in your color palette for using paper and collage. But if you go back to these um, older resources of media, you get a more diverse palette and it creates more texture in the work. So the work really exists in two forms. It works, uh, there is an original collage uh, that um, can be seen and shown, as well as this wallpaper project. This is essentially double the size of the original work. So it's like a one to two ratio. So the piece in my studio is eight feet tall and each, it's essentially five panels that make up this work. When people approach the piece, oftentimes they think they're looking at the original work, but it's, you know, a reproduction of it. And, you know, I, the piece really reads differently in this larger fashion. You're able to get inside the work and see a lot more of the details, the very fine cuts with the X-Acto knife than if you were just looking at the original. The way we conceive the projects for this lobby is that you enter the museum doors and you get the full effect of the, the whole wall. And then you start to kind of get closer to the piece and then you can sort of pick apart individual images. You want to experience it both ways. So as, as you enter, you're kind of overwhelmed by the scale and the complexity and the density of the, of the imagery. And then as you get closer, you can start to kind of piece apart and, and, and see the, like all of the small kind of vignettes within the overall composition.